It's at Tornillo ISD heading back to class and good morning El Paso's Isabella Martinez joins us live right now with a peek into their new school year. Good morning. Good morning, Hillary. That's right. We're here at Torneo ISD. We just saw a beautiful sunset arise just right behind us. And joining me this morning is Mr. Carlos Garcia. He is the IT and safety director here at the district. Mr. Carlos, safety is something so important for parents to know and understand what you guys are doing in effort to keep their, their children safe. So tell us a little bit about what the district is doing to make sure that is in place. Uh, yes, yeah, Stephanie. Good morning. Um, well, uh, we're actually very fortunate that uh, the past two years uh, our district has received uh, uh, both state and federal funding for our uh, safety initiatives. And uh, so most of our investment has been on the, uh, you know, a lot of our building uh, safety infrastructure. And so as you can see behind me, we have our, our windows uh, with the um, um, safety uh, films, uh, resistant film, and the uh, access controls. And we're also uh, planning on upgrading our surveillance cameras. Um, and as you can see uh, over yeah, here. You were just telling me about this new system in place for uh, the school officials to actually be able to get in and gated areas of the school. So show us actually how this will work. This is important um, to keep the students safe surrounding the school at all areas. So uh, can you show us? Yes, um, so we did enclose, uh, uh, the majority of our grant funding was spent on the uh, in, in, enclosing our buildings behind us, uh, which includes a rock wall behind us and gated all through the front with the access control building so that you know we can have easy access into Perfect. the uh, areas where our students will be um, and so you know that's the goal just to make sure that our, our students are always uh, in a safe location. And something that people are always wondering about you know our SROs we can actually see one of the units here that is parked right in front of the schools which provides the ultimate safety so how many SROs do you guys have here in the campus? Okay we have uh, two full-time security officers doing instructional time and we we have two full-time SRO sheriff officers um, for the all three sc schools. Perfect, Mr. Carlos. Thank you so very much for joining me this morning. As you can see, very safe environment here at the small district. They're making sure that their students are safe at all times. Mr. Carlos, again, thank you so thank much. You. And I will send things back to you. Lots happening.